Hey guys. Um, so this is my second musing of the day. I'm feeling very musings. Uh, I've just been learning a lot of lessons lately and I love sharing them with you because what is knowledge without sharing that knowledge, right? So um, today was a jam-packed day. John and I were literally up at the butt crack of dawn. Our first meeting was at 5.30 um, and hold on, my face is like really bright right now. Okay, there we go. Um, we were up at really early. First meeting was at 5.30 and since then it has literally been back to back to back meetings all day long. It's been amazing. Like I am so blessed that I get to do that every day and that our business is popping to that extent. We literally had three buyers meetings, showed property to two different clients, um, had several other meetings that were not you know, associated with that, but just like the business is growing and things are amazing. We're training our new employee. Like stuff is awesome. And it really made me think as we got home after a we're, we've been going now for 14 and a half hours straight work. And as I'm getting ready to prep my dinner, I thought about the fact that how you do one thing is how you do everything. How are you showing up in all areas of your life? And what is suffering in your life? Is it self-care? Because that's affecting other areas of your life. If you're not taking care of yourself, how are you going to be able to take care of your family and your spouse and your kids? Are you lacking in the area of physical fitness? When was the last time you were at the gym? When was the last time you treated yourself to a yoga class? So it really made me think after 14 and a half hour day of work, which of course I loved every minute, but I am exhausted. Like you can see the bags under my eyes right now. Like this is legit me. I have, well, I had makeup on way back earlier in the day. Um, but like these are bags people like <laughs> this is not uh, just makeup here I'm like really tired but in a great way and it made me think how you do one thing is how you do everything because here I am after a long ass day there's my goals behind me on the fridge where I see them of like 50 times a day um, and it made me think like how many other people work a 14 and a half hour day and don't stop at McDonald's on the way home or don't stop and pick out take out pick up take out not saying that you shouldn't do that but I hold myself to such a high standard in all ways of life. The work that I do for my clients, the work I do on myself, my self-care since ALA is like up to par, my friend, and I'm getting better at it every day. But I noticed, uh, well, I'll get into that in a second. So really the moral of the story here in my musings and put a one in the box if like you totally get me right now and you know that there's an area of your life suffering because I'm going to share with you in just one second what the area in my life has been suffering um, and it's for sure impacting other ways of my life like how you do one thing is how you freaking do everything so give me a one if you feel me on that um, and so yeah it made me think like how many other people come home after a long ass day of work even eight hour days and you know, don't necessarily cook for themselves or, you know, maybe people are totally skipping breakfast in the morning and just grabbing a cup of coffee from Starbucks. Like where in your life are you lacking right now that you can really focus on and totally crush moving forward? Because as I was sitting here musing to myself about the fact that like I've been feeling really on par and a lot of areas of my life are just crushing it and here I am after a 14 hour day making myself a really healthy ass dinner of spaghetti squash and eggplant parmy type stuff over the um, spaghetti squash just like healthy and delicious and I'm working so hard to achieve the lifestyle that I want and I thought of the area that I'm suffering in and it made me think how I do one thing is how I do everything and I need to improve that area ASAP so I can get even more on my shit right now and that area has been sleep. Sleep is so important and because we've been so, our schedule has just been, you know, I'm, I get to have an amazingly busy schedule and it's been awesome, but what I have not been respecting is my sleep. And today, I literally drank two gigantic Starbucks teas, <laughs> green tea, so it was a healthy choice. Um, it was, <laughs> Jenna, I'll answer your question in a second. Like, I was exhausted, and I don't ever rely on coffee, caffeine. Like, I don't have coffee. If I have green tea, it's for the health benefits, not the caffeine. 
and I was shot. So like sleep, I need to get better at my sleep because how I do one thing is how I do everything and I can't be suffering in an area of my life because it's going to permeate into other areas. I know at times today I was not as energetic as I could have been or on it as I should have been because I only got five and a half hours of sleep last night, which for me is like a no-no. Some of you can do that. I cannot. I'm like an eight hour a night type of girl. And Jenna, I totally feel you on the food. Food is amazing. I eat so healthy and it, like I love it. I used to have stomach issues and that's why I got into a healthier food lifestyle and I've stuck to it ever since because I feel amazeballs. So if somebody's struggling out there with like lethargy or feeling tired all the time, diet my friend, diet. And the one was for people who feel me on the fact that like one thing is everything. So if you want to put a one in the box, that would be awesome. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about, Jenna. Does somebody else? What's soft kitty? You'll have to sing it for me the next time I see you. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to encourage you guys with this little message today um, and you know, encourage you to really focus on the fact that if you're doing one thing really poorly in your life, it's affecting other areas of your life because how you do one thing is how you do everything and respect yourself enough to have this high of a standard that you can't settle for food like McDonald's on the way home from a long day or you can't settle for the fact that you haven't been to the gym in six months because you can't wake up early enough and you're snoozing your alarm every morning. Or don't settle even to the extent of being in a bad relationship or being surrounded by poor friends that are maybe becoming a bad influence on you. Cut that shit out, my friend. It is time to focus on you and have enough respect for yourself that how you do one thing is how you do everything and you are about to do everything super freaking awesome. Okay, that was my second musings of the day. I gotta get cooking because, as you guys know, it is 8 o'clock and I need to have my healthy dinner at a semi-reasonable time. <laughs> Love you guys. Talk soon.